three years because I was still sitting, they didn't run me out. I was, you know, they tolerated me. Um, after a while, I was family, so it turned into when visitors came and I yelled out and they laughed. Now the family got upset, like, no, don't bother her. She, she's good. She's good with us. So then about three years later, I knew there was a call in my life. I always knew there was a call in my life. But timing is everything to me. And I went and I, you know, taught the pastor and, you know, he, he was in agreement and everything was set. The date was set. It was March 13, 2012. 2013. The date was set. And something happened on that day. It was a storm. And this was history. Because the trial sermon was canceled. So I took that, but I was mortified. Because I'm like, who does that? Who cancels a trial sermon? And I was really, I was mad, I was angry. I was like, you know, that's my time to shine. You know, I, my trial sermon was canceled, and I was really angry. But it was then that God spoke to me and he said, that's why I canceled it. Oh my God. Because you thought it was about you. Bibles 
to locate. And I'm going to start with verse 40. Now, when Jesus came back, I'm reading from the Amplified Version. When Jesus came back to Galilee, the crowd received and welcomed him gladly, for they were all waiting and looking for him. And there came a man named Jairus, who had for a long time been a director of the synagogue. And falling at the feet of Jesus, he begged him to come to his house. For he had an only daughter, about 12 years of age, and she was dying. As Jesus went, the people pressed together around him, almost suffocating him. And then a woman who had suffered from a flow of blood for 12 years and had spent all her living upon physicians and could not be healed by anyone, came up behind him and touched the fringe of his garment. And immediately her flow of blood ceased. And Jesus said, who is it who touched me? When all were denying it, Peter and those who were with him said, Master, the multitude surround you and press you on every side. But Jesus said, someone did touch me. He said, someone, somebody, I felt it, did touch me. For I perceived that power has gone forth from me. And when the woman saw that she had not escaped notice, she came up trembling and falling down before him. She declared in the presence of all the people for what reason she had touched him and how she had been instantly cured. And he said to her, daughter, your faith, your confidence, and, and he said to her daughter, your faith, your confidence, and trust in me. And he said, daughter, your faith, your confidence in me, not Facebook, to be defeated. 